All right, what's going on guys? Wanted to make a quick video about the Instagram photo posing guide. Seems like some of us might need a little bit of a refresher on how to stand, where to look, what to do when we're out taking pictures, posing for the content that we're getting to post on our Instagram. So wanted to put together a quick guide so that you guys can reference back to this and make sure that you're doing it the correct way. So let's jump into it, man. Um, First things first, like biggest mistake that I see most guys making in the photos, a lot of the time, especially being submitted into the uh, community is going to be the head. All right. So whenever you're going to go out and get content for your IG that you want to post, you want to make sure that you're not breaking what's known as the fourth wall. So this is going to be a little bit about cinematography and cinematics and uh, videography. But basically, if you think about a movie, the characters are never actually looking directly into the camera. The reason being is because it creates more of an immersive experience for the viewer. So when you look directly into the camera, the actual lens, it's going to take away from that experience. So what you guys are going to want to start doing when you're going out and getting photos for your Instagram profiles is start tilting your head 15 degrees away from wherever the camera is at. So as you can see here, it's just a little demonstration of one of my posts where I'm looking maybe a little bit more than 15 degrees, like 15 at a minimum, and then um, like 45 at most. You never want to be looking like a full like 90 degrees where it's like the side of your head. But um, what it's going to do is just give it more of like a cinematic movie-like effect. All right. Second thing about the head, we're, we're going to just go from head to toe here. So when it comes to the head, a big mistake I see guys making is they're looking directly at the camera and they're smiling. So you want to come across as a little bit more candid, a little bit more masculine and a little bit less fake. All right. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to be smirking a little bit more than we're going to be actually like cheesing. And I'm going to give you some clear examples here uh, on the next slide. So <laughs> what you guys need to stop doing is this. This is how 98% of guys look on their Instagram feed. So when you're looking directly at the camera and you're posing, staring directly into the camera lens, it looks too pre-planned. It's clearly premeditated, right? So are you trying to be a model, right? Like, are you, are you a tourist? Like, is this like your high school senior photo? Like some of you guys just look straight up fucking confused. So what it's going to do is disrupt when you do this, it disrupts the audience's immersive experience by breaking that fourth wall that we talked about. So the biggest change that you guys can start doing when you go out to capture content that you're going to post on your profile is just stop looking directly at the camera, man. What you want to do is make it look a little bit more like this, because if you look at this picture that I recently posted here, I'm looking away, so I'm not breaking the fourth wall. I'm basically ignoring the camera altogether. You can see that I'm in motion. So the actual sand particles are being kicked up behind my foot. I'll get more about, I'll get more in depth on that in a second. You can see here that I'm smirking. I'm not putting on some big fake cheesy grin or some inauthentic smile. It's creating this kind of like fictional storyline. It's almost like this picture could be the cover of like, some kind of movie. It's like a scene from a movie. There's an action shot where it's like, I look like the main character. All right. And, and this is the type of vibe that you want to try to convey because not only is it more enjoyable for the viewer, but it's also going to improve your perceived level of value and perceived level of status because you kind of almost give this like celebrity like effect. All right. So let's talk a little bit more about your body in these photos. So there's a couple of things that I want you to memorize and it's going to be in motion or asymmetrically relaxed. So you're either going to want to try to emulate movements or pose in an asymmetrical way. If you're static, I typically prefer to make my images come across as if it's an action shot. So the way that you would actually go about doing this is, either set up the timer on your camera or have your uh, friend, whoever's taking the photos, just take multiple photos of you. But just actually like imagine if you were just walking, acting totally natural and just try to make those movements 
in a slow motion way. So in this actual photo here, I'm not standing still posing like this. I actually started way back here and I started slowly walking up towards the camera and I ended up just picking the best one. And that's what you guys should do too. Now, let's say that you're not really in a situation where you're able to create motion. You're gonna want to either be standing or sitting. I want you to think about asymmetry, okay? So part of body language and part of a natural and candid and cinematic look is going to be asymmetry. So if you're sitting symmetrically and you're basically posing like you're ready to take orders from somebody, it just comes across as planned. It's not natural. So in this example, I've got one hand in my pocket and then another hand draped over my leg. So you can see where that's creating asymmetry, all right? So think about using your arms in an asymmetrical way, a hand in the pocket. Uh, you could even have like one hand, you know, coming up, touching your hat, maybe touching your sunglasses. Just think about natural movements and actually create those movements while somebody is taking pictures of you. So you, you wanna make sure that they're taking a bunch of photos and you're moving around, okay? Um, another thing that I like to do as well that I recommend for you guys to try out, it's pretty fun, is if you don't know exactly what to do with your hands or how to pose, just look at the environment and then think about what would somebody in this environment be doing and let's try to tell that story through the use of props as well. So this photo here is a perfect example. Um, obviously, like this was this was pre-planned. I'm not actually sitting at this table. I'm not seated here. I'm not even reading this champagne menu. I'm looking at it as if I am, but it's just a prop, dude. I'm literally just sitting there getting a few photos. I pick that thing up and then I set it right back down and we go on our merry way. So I was here at this table for a matter of maybe like five minutes at the most. And this is going to be a really cool way for you to start creating more candid and artistic photography. So this is what other people want to look at. All right. They don't care about it. They don't really care about you as much as the experience that they're going to be getting from the photography that you're capturing. So it really is an art form. And I want you guys to start thinking of it that way, where it's not just for fun. It's not just for likes. It's actually more so a you know form of self-expression. It's a form of art. It's photography, man. So uh, another thing, too, about your about your stance is a lot of you guys are standing really squared off to the camera and you're just and you're standing like you're at attention as if you're in the military or something stupid bro <laughs> so you gotta you gotta create some asymmetry so kick one of your legs up you know maybe cross one of your legs over the other leg put a hand in your pocket so when you when you start to think about making things asymmetrical it's gonna help you and it's gonna make you look more natural and don't forget like just stop looking directly at the camera then I promise you guys, this is going to make your video or your pictures look 90% better instantly. So I hope this training was helpful. Wanted to keep it short and I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace.